Okay, so to make a recliner, all I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do this in several little pieces. I'm going to go to extended primitives. I'm going to add chamfer box. And in my top view here, I'm going to drag out the first cushion. So I click once, I click again, and then I get my cushion right there. Okay. Then what I need to do is I actually need to make the, the holder for the couch. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to standard primitives. I'm going to grab a box and I'm going to make the, cush the, the box for the, uh, the, the frame. And at this point, I'm going to, uh, I need two for the top here, each of these for one arm. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I need to have one for this arm right here and one for this arm right here. And then I need this for my back. And then for my front, I need one to capitalize on for my front. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to convert to edible poly. I'm going to grab these center ones. I'm going to scale them outward. Be sure to uh, make sure that this is the right absolute size. It, if it's not, then it kind of makes your couch look weird. Or you can just say it's grandpa's like, you know, couch he's had since he was like in World War II or something. It's not a couch, it's a, it's a recliner, pardon me. So I'm going to move that one back to make the back. And then I'm going to move this one down to make the front. Then I'm just going to select this middle piece here. I'm going to delete. Let me hit F3 so you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to select this one and hit delete. And now all I'm going to do is actually I'm going to delete these two right here as well. And now all I have is that right there. Then I'm going to select these top two right here and I'm going to bring it down. And I'm later going to weld those. Then I'm going to bring this over just like that and I'm going to weld all this. This is the weld tool. This is a good one to learn right now. So good idea having me do this for you. So I'm going to grab all these edges just like this. Okay. I'm going to right click and I'm going to find my weld tool it is right here. I hate the fact that 3ds Max for some reason does this from time to time where you can't see the whole pull down list. I'm going to hit this button and this right here, this weld threshold, this actually is depends on how close your vertices are so if your vertices are this far away you'll have to turn up the weld threshold to get it you see how they're snapping but if you go too high you get that I don't want that I'm just gonna go a little bit and hit OK then I'm just gonna grab both of these right click extrude and hit OK Then I'm just going to move this cushion up. That's a little too thick. After a little bit of wear, it's not going to be that thick. And uh, little little technique um, thing here. Hit E. Rotate it. Whoa, what did I do there? Get it as good as you can. Move it back. This is a simple one, by the way. You can get really extreme with these if you want. The more extreme you get, though, the harder they're going to get. Just increase the width. And then, screw it, do the same thing for the little... Uh, pull out thing right here in the front except this thing's going to be thinner and you can actually select this right here and just just delete it who cares so now all that's sitting there is there you will have to although these pieces right here oh that's interesting I forgot to weld those 
Here's the target weld. Target weld works a little different. Target weld allows you to weld two points, just like that. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these edges here, just like this. And I'm going to loop it. It doesn't loop. That's awesome. Very helpful. There we go. That one moved finally. I'm just going to go all the way around. Oh, not that one. I don't want that one. Almost done. And I'm just going to grab all these edges. And you guys are going to remember this tool because I keep teaching you guys how to use it. It's a great tool to use for this. Yep, do it to the front right here. Right click, chamfer. Hit OK. Go to the front view here, round out these edges just a little bit. That's not going to look, that doesn't look right. Oh, that's because I forgot those edges. That's one edge I forgot. There we go. There's Grandpa's seat. And then if you want, you can rotate it. There you go. There's your recliner. Cool. All right, guys, let's go to the lab. Uh, work on your Camaro for the next uh, until break. After break, work on your final projects or your six-week project.